finally, the spot Bitcoin ETF was approved. It's been a long time. I'm really sick of hearing about it on crypto Twitter and so on and talking about it, but it's finally come about. And you know what? Guess who's on the forefront? BlackRock. Why is that? Because they have the most liquidity to provide investors. What is liquidity? It's the amount of money that they can buy and trade with. So what is going to happen now? We're going to have a lot of price action. It's going to be very violent, like up and down, because they need as much Bitcoin as possible still because it is a spot Bitcoin ETF, which means they actually these companies actually need um, actual Bitcoin. And my prediction is that we are going to probably uh, hit all time highs fairly shortly. I would say between mid year, something like that, or, or maybe even sooner. Uh, because if you, if you know anything about a bull market, you'll know that bull markets tend to increase, the price tends to increase uh, faster as the bull market matures. Uh, so at first, you know, when we bought them in around 15,500, the pl price kind of flatlined, then it slowly moved to $20,000, then it chilled there, then it finally went to 25,000. And as you can see, like what, what has happened is that the price went to 30,000 and quickly to 40,000 um, short, like not too long ago. And now, you know, we are probably heading up to all time highs. I would expect all time highs before we get a major pullback. That is just my opinion. I just don't see that BlackRock and all their buddies, their banking buddies are going to allow retail to go ahead and chill, relax and go ahead and buy, uh, take, take, you know, have six months to go ahead and buy whatever they need to buy, like dollar cost average. I don't think they're going to give uh, retail that chance. I think w the best, you know, what's going to happen is that we are going to experience some very rapid price increases very, very soon. And it's only going to increase as more and more companies come in and want a spot Bitcoin ETF. And as the world kind of accepts Bitcoin is here to stay, that's what's going to happen. Now, what we saw with what happened with Gary Gensler, I think more manipulation, not like that, but similar is going to happen more and more. I think we are going to have a lot of fake news coming out and which is going to dump the price. It's going to pump the price, whatever. I would literally, I would, what I tell my learning crypto members, learningcrypto.com at the CT club, I tell them stay out of leverage right now. Isn't the time to be trading too much right now is a, tr is the time to be holding spot and waiting for all time highs and much higher. Uh, I don't think that's very wise to be picking uh, pennies in front of steamrollers right now, especially now that this spot Bitcoin ETF has been approved. And, and not only that, but what's going to happen now, in my opinion, is that we are going to have a spot Ethereum ETF that is gonna be coming out shortly, which is going to put a lot of upward pressure on Ethereum. And you know what? We got pretty bashed uh, from holding Ethereum and especially when it's when it has been pretty much lagging. Now, I've seen this time and time again, every single bull, mar bull market when Ethereum kind of lags and people are like, oh, it's over. It's finished. Don't worry about it anymore. And then it kind of blows people out of the water and people kind of FOMO in once they realize, wow, Ethereum is kind of here to stay. Uh, I see the same thing happening right now, especially with a spot Ethereum ETF potentially coming over the, in the horizon. This is going to take more Ethereum supply off the market. Not only that, but I think more and more people are going to be staking Ethereum, especially like what, where we stake our Ethereum is Lido.fi. And um, yeah, they, they give a nice little four to five percent um, per year. Uh, income for us. It is essentially like dollar cost averaging. So every day we get a payment in Ethereum and that's adding to our Ethereum position. So the downside to this spot Bitcoin ETF, which man, I get a lot of heat from this. What is going to happen now is that BlackRock has on is, is onboarded to uh, Bitcoin. Now they are going to onboard people onto BlackRock to get their derivative of Bitcoin. This isn't real Bitcoin, by the way, guys. This is You're not going to be able to actually hold your Bitcoin if you buy this ETF and then send it to your friends across the world. This is a derivative. It's a 
synthetic Bitcoin, essentially. Uh, yes, BlackRock has their Bitcoin, and they're not going to get rid of their Bitcoin, by the way. They are going to hold this for a very, very, very long time because they know it has an inelastic supply, which means you can't just... If the price increases, you can't just go out and make it, right? Or print it or dig it out of the ground like you can with gold or silver. You can't do any of that. They understand price elasticity. They understand how rare Bitcoin is and they're not going to they're not going to dare let it go, which is going to be really interesting to see how they continue on uh, getting more and more Bitcoin. Now, Michael Saylor recently said that he wants to hold 1% of all Bitcoin. Do you think BlackRock's going to allow that to happen? Of course not. They're going to want to buy as much as Bitcoin as possible so that they're number one. They're going to be the number one holder and hold more than 1% just like, like Michael Saylor wants. And that's just those two entities. Can you imagine other entities that want the same thing? That's all I have. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.